Okay, uh, so this is just a quick tutorial um, to show how to distribute cloned objects along a path or a spline. So I've got my spline here. In order to create the spline, I just went into my right view and used the spline pen and just drew out a path. And I've got a little cube here. And what I wanted to do is just evenly distribute clones of this cube or duplicates of this cube along the length of this spline. So to do that, we can just create a cloner and put the cube into the cloner. We'll change in the cloner settings there, we'll go into the object tab, we'll change the mode from grid to object, and then we'll set this spline to be that object. Now, initially it's not evenly distributing our cubes along the length of the spline, so we'll just need to change the distribution type. So on the cloner, in the object tab, we have the distribution set to count. So we can change that to even, if we want to just evenly distribute those along the length here. We have a few different options here for animation. So we can animate the offset if we were doing a conveyor belt type situation. Um, and we can also animate the start and end. So if we want to start with all of our objects together at the beginning, we can animate this end property and then animate them all moving out to the end here. Uh, that's all for this tutorial.